Good morning. I didn't record it, but Jake and I have been a little busy this morning. I de-weeded this bed before it had a ton of, I don't know what it is, maybe it's falsify? A weed in here, got rid of all that, and I'm not sure how this is gonna go. But on this side, all the cucumbers had gotten munched and there was a lot on this side. So I took some from this side and moved them to this side. So we'll see how they go. I, I probably disturbed their roots too much, but we'll see. If these don't survive, I might just go buy a full plant from the store. A lot of weeds. Also, I think today the chive seeds I think are ready because they are blowing onto the gr you can't see it but they're blowing onto the ground um, Jake's gonna weed whack in a minute because we got lots of little stuff in the way but these guys are also in the way so I'm gonna go harvest these seeds Okay, so these rogue chives that we're growing. Oh, I got a bug in my camera. Get off, sweetie. There you go, okay. So these rogue chives that we're growing here, they're supposed to be over here, they were over there. Snipped them all up. So here are all of the leaves that I will eat. They're just in a cup full of water. Don't know what I'll eat, how I'll eat them. Don't know what I'll do with them. Then here is all of the flower heads and I'll shake them out and get all the seeds. Um, so you can kind of see some of them in there. Get all the seeds. So I'll shake these out and get all the seeds into my jar. The stems that have flowers are a lot stiffer than the leaves. So this is what you want to eat. This isn't as tasty because it's too stiff. There's all the flowers and the leaves, and we'll weed whack the rest of this. There was a bunch of other weeds as well. I don't know how tall these beans are gonna get. I'm trying, I need to get them to grow up the side. But check it out. Definitely a Scarlet Runner bean. Adorable, got one little bud. Notice these ones are a different color. I'm not sure why. I planted two different types of beans in both pots. So something is making them different. Look at this, Jake finally finished the whole water main project. He got all the dirt back in, put the grass back in, it's looking great. Our water pressure is better and that pipe was really terrible. So that was a lot of work. It's all done. I do not prune the tomato forest in any special way. I just don't like when it encroaches on the pathway. So this is me just knocking it back. It's painful. Sometimes there's tomatoes growing on the ones that I snip off, but it keeps everything neat and you can actually walk past the forest.
Well, I think it's been a month since our last full update, so let's walk through and see everything. Here is the corn and pumpkin. They're doing really great. We had a bad rainstorm the other day, and one of the corn kind of tipped over a bit, but other than that, everything's been pretty good. Pretty happy with that bed. Here are the peas and cantaloupe. I need to weed this a little bit. That's a bug trap. Oh, check out this guy. Where'd he go? Little woodpecker. Cute. All right. The peas and the cantaloupe, and I snuck in some sunflowers that are coming up through the peas. These won't last much longer. We've been nibbling on them. They're just a good snack early in the season, which is why I grow them. The mint right here is going good. I've harvested some of that, been drying it inside. Should go to bloom not too far. And the bees really love that. These random flowers are filling in nicely. I don't even know what they are. Butterfly bushes still need to complete that bed. Woods rose still need to complete that bed. Here we have the carrots and the carrots from last year that are going to seed. Look at these carrot flowers. Looking really nice. And these carrots are doing really good. The last half of this bed is the some annual herbs. Basil, basil, cilantro, and dill. Some of the basil's coming in, but it's not coming in as quickly as I want. And this other variety is barely coming in at all. The cilantro, we're getting some little baby cilantros. Yummy, yummy. Same with the dill, that's coming in. Little babies. This bed is all of the squash. Butternut squash, and I think acorn squash. Butternut squash, a little slow. But he's doing alright. There's the butternut squash. I think these are acorn squash. Again, I can't remember what I planted here. It's some NATO variety. Little happy squash plants. The beans are flowering. This pot doing a little better than that pot. Probably a watering issue. Here's the tomato forest. I just barely snipped off some of the tomatoes that were encroaching on the walkway. They're so close to wanting to be eaten and turn red. I mean, look how many are coming in. So cute. The bed next to the tomatoes is the summer squash. This is supposed to be cucumber, but I've been having some problems with something eating these poor guys. I need to get to the store and just buy some full plants. I just haven't gotten to do that yet. Then we have two uh, zucchini. They're doing all right. It was a little bit of a struggle. I had to replant these ones, I think. This little mound. They're coming in. Then we have all the pepper plants. They're going slow, but we're getting a few little peppers coming in. And the plants are looking pretty healthy. There was a cold spell that I think slowed them down. And I had a few leaves fall off of them, but they're doing okay now. And then the onions and leeks. I munched on this. This guy right here the other day. And he already grew back. All this leaf. So I've got tons of green onions that I can eat. Here are the leeks and the leeks are in their toilet paper holders to help them grow taller so there's more meat to them. They're looking good. Look at all these green onions. These are the green onions I planted straight from seed. So these ones were started indoor a few months earlier and those ones from seed. This half of the bed is all yellow onions, sweet yellow Spanish, which is what is has been grown in Utah for generations does really well in our climate. So there's all the happy onions. And I think that's it.
and there's Happy Jake. And the grapes, which are doing really good. They got a lot of baby beet grapes. Things are still getting munched. These might not make it. Might have to go buy some big plants from the store. Well, the ones I transplanted, they're not looking very hot. They look sad. So sad. What the heck? These were looking so happy. They were looking great. And now someone has nibbled all their little baby leaves. And that one's totally gone. This side, fine. This side nibbled. Also, when I came back, there's a hole and a random carrot. Someone has been in the garden. So, due to the theft of my cucumber sprouts, we're going to have to buy some. This is where I should let you know that the magical earwig trap in the ground obviously hasn't been working. Okay, I went and got two new cucumber plants for the ones that got munched. Hopefully these can take off and not get munched. I know that these paper containers are supposed to biodegrade and you should be able to put this straight in the ground, but every time I've done that and dug them up at the end of the season, the paper's still there. The plant did not expand past the paper, so I'm taking the paper entirely off. And I'll rough up these roots just a little bit. Later that same evening, who is eating these? They've been totally munched. And this, this had a little bit more on it too. Oh my goodness, they're not gonna make it. They're gonna get eaten. Even both sides. Oh, do you think it's a bird or do you think it's a bug? You planted them today, huh? I planted them today. I never did figure it out. Who knows what was eating them? Was it you? We checked the cameras and everything because we were only gone for a few hours. No clue what has been nibbling the plants. Next year, I'm going to start my cucumbers inside till they're a little bigger and then plant them outside when they're just little babies. They don't seem to make it from whatever finds them so delicious. Frequently, I get to spot these little bumblers because of the sound they make. I think they vibrate the flowers to get the pollen and it's a really distinct sound. Isn't it? Oh, Not much to do since everything's planted. And it's so hot now I can barely walk in bare feet on this brick. Look at this guy, he's already grown back. That's one that I already chopped. So I'm chopping some green onions today. Nom 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 nom. Look how fresh that is. Liquid onion juice. Tasty. I'm attempting to make kimchi. Total experiment, never made it before. Um, this kimchi turned out awesome. I've made it multiple times now. It's really easy. It's really great. Dang, that looks pretty good. So close, so close. The mint is getting really close to blooming. The peppers seem to be doing okay. We've got some little baby peppers. And the raspberries are also coming along. It's a big fuzzy. So cute. Check it out, the Russian sage is blooming. 
The bees love this. Big old bush. These are looking nice. Look how big these tomatoes are. Now we're getting red ones. Just barely starting now. Not quite ready yet. Soon. So far the cucumbers are surviving. Whatever is eating them. Dill is fluffy and happy. Cilantro is perfect. Need to eat some tacos. Squash is looking good. Look at this little cantaloupe flower. And then the best surprise today. Little pumpkin flowers. The sunflowers that I snuck into the peas are doing really great. They're just barely starting their flowery buds. It's about time to pull the peas out. Look who's here. It's the squash bugs. They're no good. And the war on squash bugs begins. Need to get rid of them. I don't know where he went. There he is. Thanks, Jake. It's Monday. I'm about to go to work, but look at this gorgeous freaking day. Well, that's not good. I wonder if that was my little vole nibbling on him, or if it got so windy last night, these got pushed over. That's a shame. I mean, that's two years. Two-year-old carrot. Well, thanks for finishing off the month of June with me. I love this weather to death. I hope you do too.